it's the major race on day one. It's the first championship race, and it is the champion hurdle. A lot of people are crabbing this year's renewal and saying that it's not the most prestigious, it's not the most star-studded, and in fairness, it's hard to disagree. It might be a bit of a cop-out, but in all honesty, it's it's not a race that I've been overly enthused about. I think there's a lot better races this week. Um, now, don't get me wrong, the likes of Epitance, could, or Epitance, however you want to pronounce it, could come out, demolish them, and, cut, and turn into an absolute superstar. But what I've seen... I'm a bit nonplussed, if I'm being honest. Pendham Hills was overturned this year. Um, although I think a return to Cheltenham is going to be a positive move. But when you look at the race and you look at the betting on the left-hand side there, the fat side of the summary is the clear third favourite. Probably tells you all you need to know about how good this race is. So with that in mind, I'm trying my best to be a bit more enthusiastic. But I'm going to look for a bit of value. And to me, the value lies in Darvis Star. Yes, the horse hasn't been the most prolific, such as Epitante. He's not dined at the top table like Pentland Hills and won. But to me, Darvis Star will act on the ground. Yes, he's had a, you know, a, a, a tough campaign. But I think Gavin Cromwell, obviously after last year, knows what it takes to win a race like this. It's come up against some really decent opposition. And it's not been found too far behind, especially with the likes of Honeysuckle. I think 10 to 1 is probably a decent enough price. I am on at a bigger price earlier uh, earlier in the year. Uh, well, I say earlier in the year, just a handful of weeks ago now. But yeah, for a race that I don't think is, is one that anyone should be piling in big on any sort of horse, it's uh, perhaps a bit of a watching brief, if I'm all honest. If I'm honest, however, you've got to have a look at the big race of the day. And to me, Darvis Star has a chance. If the ground gets softer than what it is at the moment and it completely chucks it down, um, I wouldn't put people off back in not so sleepy. Um, and Super Sunday, I think, uh, the, the, the word from the yard, Jessica Harrington, is that the horse is going really well. And I think that's perhaps a bit of the forgotten horse. Personally, if I was to back anything, it's going to be Darvis Star. Uh, you know... Perhaps advise on small each way play on not so sleepy or super Sunday, especially if the ground gets worse. But to me, it's a race you've got to sit back, watch, hope that potentially Epitante turns into a superstar and pulls off a demolition job. Equally, Pentland Hills could potentially return to his best. But for me, it's a race that, yes, we'll love to see, but keep your money in your pocket. And if you have to have a bet, it's Darvis Star. Gavin Cromwell each way in the 2020 champion hurdle.